looking at Saber now, I suppose there's not too much to add, uh, having discussed Edgar, besides this aforementioned, you know, pragmatism versus, um, you know, emotional, you know, this emotional disposition and how Sabin kind of favoured eloping into solitude and this Spartan lifestyle following the death of his father. Now, you'd be hard pushed to call Sabin dishonourable because of this, but his approach to grief is entirely at, at odds with his brothers. And once we recruit him in game, he conveys, a, you know, a, a strong degree of guilt at having left his brother to pick up the pieces. So I mentioned that Edgar's personality and appearance is inspired by European Enlightenment, and looking at Sabin and this duality, I would argue that Sabin's personality and appearance is inspired much more by Eastern practices such as Shintoism, Hinduism and Buddhism. Firstly, he isolates himself on a mountain in order to meditate and train on what his masters taught him, which has clear connotations with Buddhist practices and how isolated meditation can help deconstruct the ego and this distinction between self and other. Uh, secondly, Sabin is practiced in the martial arts, which are again attributable to, you know, warrior monk faculties, and his baggy harem trousers are similar to the, you know, the styles that you see across India and, and Southeast Asia. His impulsive temperament also plays out quite credibly in the game story, I think, and, you know, for example, his selfless rescue of terror from the hands of Ultros sees him thrown from the raft and embark on his own brief kind of sideline journey. And there's some humorous transactions that occur as well once we see him teamed up with Cyan off the back of this, who's very stereotypically this the straight man, you know, the, the guy that has no sense of humour. And Sabin plays this clowning second fiddle, which bears, you know, a, res a resemblance to buddy cop movies of the 90s. Um, and finally, Sabin's physical aptitude and, you know, again, this, this martial prowess and stuff is informs his battle, uh, his battle characteristics. And he has this really nice uh, blitz command, which sees me utilising him actually quite often. So, yeah, this mix of comic relief and credible dialogue, uh, you know, just make him generally a good character to have around. And I think, you know, the, the two brothers, are, you know, for me... Um, two of the, the strongest members of the party in this game. 